Today is a two for Tuesday as I'm recording this video. It happens to be Tuesday. Any other day of the week, I guess you'll just have to substitute that day as the two for. But I'm putting together some content around the run command. And in my example, I happen to be using the block until done tool. And I remembered, you know, I've never talked about the block until done tool, and it's a really useful tool. So this could potentially be the shortest video I've ever created, but I thought it was important to at least highlight that particular tool separately. So this could be viewed as like a prequel to the run command tool being used here. So what I've got going on is I'm bringing in a Excel data set here that has about 10,000 rows of data. And I, I wanna do uh, two things. One is I wanna process that data and write it out to a CSV file. And that's uh, what is coming off this block until done tool is an output to a CSV file, okay? And that's output one from block until done. And you can find the block until done tool on the developer panel, all right? And uh, it is listed right here, okay? So what it does is that first workflow, that first data flow is going to write those records out into that CSV file. It's gonna open the file, write the records and close it. Once that particular flow is done, then it will start processing the second flow, okay? And in the second one, I'm summarizing the data and then I'm running a batch command. And this is where part two is gonna come in for the run command that's happening. So in reality, what I need to have happen is I need that CSV file to be completely closed and done before I run the batch command. Now, I could substitute another workflow in here. It could be that maybe I wanna upload that CSV file to an FTP site. That's another common use case. Same thing, I need that CSV file to be completely written to before I upload it to an FTP site. The, the last thing I have in my example here is part three is I've created the file. Um, I've This run command is actually gonna zip the file into a, a compressed uh, zip file. And then the third one is it's going to email the file out. Now, this isn't, a, this isn't a video about the email tool. I've already done that. But remember that the email tool and the run command tool are going to run for each record that is put into the tool. One common question I get about the email tool is how come I received 5,000 emails or, or it didn't send any because your spam filter caught so many emails coming through. And that's because it will run an email, send an email for each record. So typically when you feed into that email tool, you're just sending it one record and that's the one record it's going to send. Same with the run command. I uh, want to get to that part uh, in part two here. You'll see that if I were able to send it m multiple records, it'll actually run that batch command over and over and over again for each record that's come through. And that's why I'm using a summary tool. So block until done, use it when you want a process to complete before you move on to the next one. Remember that you can sort of daisy chain these together. So I kind of have a block until done and then another block until done, and then another block until done. That would work perfectly fine. The tool itself has absolutely no configuration. There's nothing to set in here. It's just gonna run in order one, two, and three after each of those flows has completed. So very simple. I think I tackled this in under four minutes. Now let's move on to actually showing you what that batch file is going to do, that batch command inside the run command tool.